right, you're back for another quick little video. This is part uh, 2C now. I decided to carry on into the hexagram pattern with the the last formation I talked about. That one going from the tetrahedron into the two pyramids, into the cube, sphere, and then descending back. I think firstly, let's start with this one here, the blue one being the, the pyramid. The, I decided to do those just with the lines. And let me grab my pointer here. Yeah, and you can see. One, two, three, four. And there's going up and down. One, two, three, four. And going on the angle here. One, two, three, four. So there's so there's three sets of the four band. And at the same time, there's three sets of the three. One, two, three. That's going on these angles. Going this way, one, two, three. And then going this way, one, two, three. So there's your three, three bands. So that's pretty neat. And what I did for the cube As I first I did the same thing. I just connected all the lines on the three every which way possible. On the three axis in this case. Or three single axis, I guess, versus the this one here, which was a little complicated. Um, so yeah, that produced these all these little triangles and the mesh and it was also another way of doing it where you could just honeycomb connect them. Um, which I think is maybe both are relevant. It's so that's pretty cool just on its own. And yeah, and the green, the, the tetrahedron is you don't really need to to do anything with these because they're just they're already connected with everything else so that's pretty cool you don't have to do anything with those in fact they do make this interesting arrangement like this so it's a diamond when you have two of them and And within each of those, the diamond area, we have a, a circle. Circle. Just like up in here. A circle being in the middle of those two. Yeah, and moving on to the circles, as you can see when you zoom out, you can really start to see them. They're everywhere. At the same time, they make these really interesting patterns. Yeah, I just kept all the, the, the blue lines concentrated in this corner so that give you a better chance to just see the just the red lines on their own. Um, same with the top area here. That's just just circles. Just to give you a rough idea. That's what I want to do also is just take each one of these and do just do a separate uh, diagram like this for each form. So one being just strictly circles. And, so then you can get a real good feel for this. Maybe just the circles at these, 
and the pyramid and the tetrahedron. But you could fill in all these these icons and then just do just do the pattern. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So is there anything else here I wanted to mention? I don't think so. So yeah, that's the hexagonal uh the hexagon uh hexagram plane. Um and so that's where I'm at so far in this one. Just thought I'd share that. That's it for part 2C.